Welcome to the final Tiger Den of the 2017-2018 season. Um, I think that marks 40 years of Tiger Den, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. Um, I am joined here by Trey, Derek, Winner, and Edwin, and they are students of various ages and demographics, right? <laughs> yep. So, um, first of all, I just want to ask you guys, how did this year go? Um, I thought it was a great year, my first year in Tiger Den. I loved it, and I'm definitely coming back next year. Awesome. Yeah, this was also my first year in Tiger Den, and I honestly had a lot of fun. You know, I always like to make videos, but I never got to make videos for school. And, uh, honestly, this year was the fastest year that I've ever had in school, and that's what everyone else says, too. Um, well, this year, my editing got a lot better, so it was, like, a lot more fun to work on your videos, because, like, you can actually do what you, you, you know, you want to do, because you just, I mean, I don't know, I just got pretty good at editing now. You know, I thought this year went pretty good. I mean, I'll probably be back next year, but the first year of Tiger Den wasn't so fun, but then when you get in Tiger Den, like, Media 3, then it becomes fun. All right, great. Um, so, uh, so we're we're in the new space. What do you guys think about this this new space? How do you how do you feel about it? And those of you coming back, what are you looking forward to uh, coming next year? Um, I really love the the new media hall and everything. And um, I gotta say, one of one of my personal favorites is getting all the Adobe software on the computers. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice perk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I only got a small feel of the old building, which uh, it, it was something to work with. It wasn't bad, but uh, this is a big upgrade. My favorite thing is probably the uh, big rooms with the green screens and probably the Adobe software. I'm kind of actually pretty jealous of y'all because y'all are going to get like a lot more stuff. We were just now getting started. Y'all y'all moved in like after first semester, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so y'all, I guess we're still getting settled in, so y'all are going to be lucky next year. Yeah, we're going to be really lucky next year. But the first building, it was all right. But this building is so much better. And I think my favorite room is probably the editing bays. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice, quaint, good space. So let's go take a look at your uh, montages here and oh. see kind of, kind of that year uh, reflect upon those things. And we'll be right back, and we'll have a, a package after that. So. Welcome to Tiger Den, I'm Derek. And I'm Travis. And this week we have some great packages. Welcome to Dish with Derek, I'm Derek and uh, this is Elvis. So yeah, let's get into this. Welcome, I'm Derek. I'm Travis. And today we are playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah. Okay. So, uh. Did you just touch your nose, dude? No, I licked it. Oh, that, that's got some spice to it. <laughs> I literally touched it for like uh, four uh, seconds. Oh, it's already scaring me. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh. Yeah, it's going already. Okay, we're ready? I'm gonna regret this very uh, much. Yeah, so okay. Hmm. 
Whoever gets it right doesn't have to take another bite of the pepper. Um, What's his real name? Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremiah! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> take another bite! Oh, Derek. Derek. No! Eat that whole thing, Derek. I'm, I'm tearing off the stem. Wait, hold no. up, Derek. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Hold your thoughts. It was nice knowing you. My stomach already hurts. Hmm. Just ignore the pain. That's what men do. Oh, All right, crunch. Is he going to do another? Derek. About to do it. Oh, why? <laughs> I said that, but you're just being stupid. <laughs> to prove I'm a bigger man than Travis. We already knew you were. True. Don't eat another. Derek, <laughs> eat another. Eat one, Derek. What? Come here, Timmy, please. Oh my okay. god. Hey, try it. This is his third. Dude, that's his third. You're actually you? going to get. I'm not streaming tears. I don't really Let's feel go. much at all. <laughs> god, it's instant. Oh, that explains a lot. Wait, where did you buy them? Uh, Derek! Three, Derek! Two, one. <sighs> I wanted to just get Derek! It. <laughs> Such a bad idea. Just spit it out. Don't even. are out. Go get yours today. They're $80. Hopefully your picture wasn't bad. <laughs> Been going. Gibson, and can you tell us a little bit about the school security? Sure. Well, actually, feel like we've made uh, quite a bit of progress from where we were. You know, and part of our remodel and our expansion was to uh, really 
start to secure the school better. So we've been actually working on this for what, two, three years now. Well, now we've actually got it to where we can, the main building is tied to the science building and then also uh, the band building. And then we gate it in where the courtyard is to all the way over to what we call the Sodexo building or the 900 halls. And then also between those buildings back there by the band room and such. And what that's allowed us to do is to secure the perimeter of all the buildings. So we've worked really hard on uh, getting doors locked down right after school starts. We, we make sure everything's locked down. Um, students still have access via the key, keypad code at the gates and then also the 400 hall between classes. Um, one thing that's not installed yet is the keypad on the 400 hall, and that's coming here very soon, and that will allow students to have easy passage. Right now, we have to put a teacher there during passing and so forth. But um, I think we've come a long way on that part. I, I, I feel a little more secure. Um, if somebody does come to our facility and they, they can't gain entrance unless they go through the front door, which is a secured vestibule now. So you come in and you are forced then to go to the front desk, which you can't get anywhere in the school until they have, that you actually get your badge uh, for access to the school and then they buzz you in through the door. So um, in, that, in that frame, we've come a long way. Another thing we've also added, another layer, is you'll notice that if you go around the perimeter of our building, you'll see that all the exterior doors are now numbered. And the pur purpose of that is if something were to happen and we had to call for assistance, we could also always you know, inform either the fire department, the police department, ambulance, whatever, um, where we believe there's either a disturbance or we need them to report to. And they have a map of where all those doors are. So that's another added layer. Um, and then another thing we, we have done in the past and we're currently updating again is our crisis plan. And we do have one now, but uh, you, you always want to be looking at that and revamping and trying to find better ways to do things. So we're in the process of going back and reviewing it and seeing where there might be holes or gaps and, and, and trying to fix those things. So I think we've, um, think we've come a long way. You're never really there. I think you always have to go back and reassess and, and we learn a little more. Uh, you know, we work really close with the state of Oklahoma, uh, our local departments, the police department, fire department, and so forth. And so we get a lot of input on, on better ways to do things and keep everybody safe. And that's really what it's about. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gibson. You bet. Absolutely. A lot of memories, guys. A lot of great memories, you know. And looking forward to, for you guys, you know, you guys can create even more memories, you know. Um, that's the beauty of video. So, Edwin here, though, is not coming back. No. Edwin is a senior, yeah. and, Hi, and in his role as senior, he, uh, he went around and uh, he talked to some other seniors. Uh, what are we going to see here coming up? Well, just seniors confessing things that they did in high school. And, like, I, I wish I would have asked him more questions, maybe, like, advice for... For like other you know just others mm. juniors going to seniors or just like just just everybody like just overall tips in high school because like mm. there's a lot like uh, there's a lot that I wish I knew yeah so. there's, a, there's a part of part of your growth as a person is learning yeah. as you go so uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go check out this video and when we come back we'll have a couple more people out here so My name is Jeannie Walborn and my confession is that I'm good at doing everything really last minute and getting away with it. Confessions. Uh, my senior confession is I once stuck a very long antenna in a light switch and it sparked. And if you go to the really old office building that's by the science building, you can see on one of the light panels that there's a charred black mark on it. Um, one time. I was in class, we weren't really doing anything, and I was way ahead, I was super bored, and I was like, I'm just gonna kinda yeet on out of here, and I like picked up my stuff, like casually walked by the door, and I pushed open really slowly, and then I like 
like squeeze through, but then the door slammed behind me and the substitute like looked me dead in the eye through the window of the door and I just like bolted and luckily he was really old so he like couldn't see my face fairly well I guess and I didn't get in trouble. Tell me when I can so. start. Okay. So last semester I wanted to get my friend out of class for 7th hour because I wasn't going to my 7th hour but his teacher wouldn't let him go to the bathroom because I really needed my keys. So I went into the classroom and pretended to be yearbook and it worked and we went outside and we just ran to my car. We didn't go back until like the very last minute and he was able to grab his stuff without the teacher seeing him. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, all right. I used to skip first hour right after football to play some Pokemon Go with the friends. That's it. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, now I'm joined by Xander and David here and uh, we've had quite the year, quite the year, guys. Um, what are your reflections on the class this year? How do you think you know things went, and what were some of the things that you enjoyed? Well, I had a lot of fun, you know, creating my own videos, asking students questions, and being very creative. I was off my medication, so I only did like two, three videos. Um, well, yeah, um, but those videos, did you enjoy the process? You know, was it something that? Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. Um, so, Xander, you're going to Michigan, is that correct? Yes. So, uh, your adventure leaves us here at Norman High, and you go off to that new, uh, new adventure there. And David, are you going to be back with us? Uh, probably so. Here, grab the microphone and, and tell us. I'll probably be back, hopefully, unless I screw up my schedule. But I have a, I've had a blast working here, creating ideas, and just being, it's really fun. Awesome. So we're going to go take a look at some montages now. Um, we'll take a look at uh, David's here. Uh, we'll see if we can't get something for Xander going because he's got limited content. And then we'll get uh, Genies and uh, we will get um, Maddie's. Maddie's as well. So, uh, so look forward to that. And then uh, after those montages, we're going to play a very special edition of kind of a mean tweets. So uh, I have my Media One classes and these guys can, can attest to this because they went through this process. I have them critique the, the Tiger Den shows and sometimes they, they write some not so nice things to them uh, to, on, those, on, those, uh, on those critiques. So this will be the Tiger Den cast working through those and uh, and coming to terms with those mean, mean critiques. So stay tuned and we'll be back with some, some new people. Just I I'm in parkour and Chantal is a baby. I, uh, come on. Have you studied for finals yet? Well, finals, right? Yeah. People say they're pretty important, but fork knife is pretty important. And I also like to eat food and sleep. So like, nah, man, like finals, like I finally realized that I'm finally done with school. So I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, my favorite thing about parkouring probably 
is uh, the adrenaline rush and how cool it makes me feel when I know that my life is not very cool at all. One. Parkour, parkour! I've been parkouring for 15 minutes now and it's special in my life because I get to just jump around and have fun and be crazy and that all comes naturally anyway so parkour. All in the name of parkour. Speaker space should be open more often. Um, and what was that exactly? Uh, Baker space is the space over there. Oh, it's open. Yeah. It's open right now. Do you think it should be? It's only open from Mondays, from both lunches to Wednesdays after school. So do you think you should have more available time? To be honest, mostly yes, because mostly there are people who, who mostly have a creative um, type at least who feel like they should create more. Like for instance, like I mostly like I, I feel more interested in doing the 3D printer. Yeah, very nice response. Thank you for t taking the time to answer this question. What do you mean by that? Good pizza. Look, show you. Mmm. Now that is what you call a good pizza. Sir, may I ask you a question? Yes, sir. What's up? Uh, how prepared are you for the SATs? I believe that I am. I'm prepared. I have full faith in my in my answers on the SATs. All right. Thank you for your input, sir. You're welcome. I'm Trey Brodership. Um, we're here doing Tiger Den Read Mean Tweets. Hi, I'm Derek. Uh, first year on Tiger Den. Uh, you may know me from some cops episodes, some dishes with Derek. Maddie Bass. I'm here on Tiger Den reading uh, these fake mean tweets. They're not really tweets, so they're just by you guys. All right. Um, my name is Braden Middleton. I'm on this Tiger Den thing. Ooh, plane. Derek can't throw. And, uh, saw it, It's Zach, your boy. Uh, we're reading mean tweets on Tiger Den. So, uh, here we go. On my package, someone said that overdramatic. Who are you calling overdramatic? Hit me with it, Zach. Is it recording? Please tell me it's recording. Yeah. Oh, I have great classmates that really help me out here. I think too. So, let's just read some things. Um, for Dishes with Derek, episode 10. Uh, pet cactus. Yes, I do have a pet cactus. Very slow, thank you. You described a lot of things right there. This person really likes to draw, I'm seeing, on, here you can see, Tide Pods, Eat Your Dinner, Fools. Yeah, we're gonna get a little nice zoom in there. And then here, someone just drew them on Netflix Q question, Q questions, ponies. We got um, on the, the Tide Pod package, um, someone said, you're dumb. Maybe you're dumb and you just don't know it. Miss yes, Alert, the fake slap was satisfying. It's a bit of a vaccine information. I actually hit Trey in that. We did add the sound, but I smacked the crap out of him. Um, something about a ligament PSA? Wasn't necessary. All right. Um, let's, wait, oh. <clears throat> let's see, I think this is episode nine. Uh, two Brovi for Jazz. I hope you know how to spell groovy because you spelled groovy. For the missile alert with me and Trey, acting could improve. You're not wrong. Uh, fix microphones. Already got over. Already covered that. Get rid of classmates that bully you. Still in the process. Oh, here's another one. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brian. He's a cactus. You Shut up, He's a cactus, you can't say anything. On this one, uh, for hosting, bowling jokes are bad. Bowling jokes are quality. Classmates are just great, can I just say? 
Um, so this is still episode 10, uh, a positive and a negative for Dish to Derek. Cat, cat, cat. Very good, 11 out of 10, thank you. Uh, the negative, how can there be a negative when there's a cat? I, I don't think there can. Got it. Netflix question of the week. Boring shows, not my type. Well, maybe you should get something else. Edwin is doing a fidget spinner. And then the back of it was, oh, a nice little illustration. And then they drew a picture of themselves that says, Das me. I just got burst. Uh, this thing says about Light Witness News that it is not entertaining in the slightest. I'd have to agree. Even though I did it. Yeah, it's not that great. Cops. Oh, here we go. This is a cops episode. Me and Travis. Do you remember that one? A very humorous chase scene and simple but pleasant plot. Thanks a lot, whoever you are. You're, you're, either, you're my favorite. You, you are my favorite fan, personally. Um, about dishes with Derek. Every host, everything entertaining. Sorry, entertaining host, but at times the music is loud. And nobody likes Derek, by the way. You suck. You're the, you're the worst. We've got one here. Every single category. Cringy. Just all cringy. You're cringy. All right, that's all I'm doing. And then this one is about the hosting. Hosting is never entertaining, no matter who is doing it. I would suggest studying news programs and see how they do it. Come at me, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, tennis. I almost fell asleep. Hey, me too. Welcome back. And we have our final group of Tiger Den participants. Uh, everybody else has left for the year because they think that they're too good to be here, I guess. I don't know, you know? What's up with that? It's just a pride What's issue, up with that? really. Uh, baby head made it. Yeah, baby head made it. Great. Uh, so don't forget to, uh, to pass the microphone as you talk here, guys. Uh, but give me a, uh, a rundown of the year. How did it go? Well, it uh, started off, you know, pretty sane. About two weeks in, we hit max crazy, and we've been going crazy ever since. You know, um, it's true. It, it hasn't died down any. We started with the uh, the construction issue or show. Yep, that was pretty calm. Pretty calm, pretty pretty boilerplate type uh, material. And within a month, we are going through the sewer, hunting for pickles. Yep, the sewer. I was, gonna, I was gonna mention something about that because I think the the sewer was a historic point for Tiger Den. I think it really symbolized what we're going for. We're going for teamwork. Mm -hmm. We're going for love and appreciation, and we're going for adventure. So, adventure. It, and I think it really it really bonded us. You know. And that's so. that's what you gathered from the sewer. That's what I gathered from the sewer. <laughs> was Love and love and teamwork, teamwork. And, and brotherhood. You know yeah. the brotherhood usually, of the dollar. Yeah. Usually, that's the most. Uh, I personally think they just made a weird video and then kept rolling with it. That's, I mean, that's probably probably honesty right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be real, guys. So so yeah, let's be real. You mm -hmm. guys, you guys are mostly seniors, um, <laughs> except for the dab king back yeah. here. Um, so you guys have taken this class multiple times. What is your legacy as, as those, those, what do you think the future generations of Tiger Den are going to, to take from you moving forward? Yeah, that's a hard one, isn't it? I don't think they're gonna take anything. No? I think they're gonna see us and they're gonna see what they don't need to be. You think this dies right here? I this think is it, it dies, yeah. This, 
this wackiness. Yes. I think it. I don't think anybody's gonna live up to this group. He dies a good death, though. It it he dies as it lived. Okay. It, that it, means it dies as it lived. Sudden, out of control, chaotic. But will it rise from the ashes? Dead's dead's not dead, you guys. Dead's, dead's not, not dead. dead. This isn't the like comic the books. phoenix. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, we're going to go take a look at your montages, and we're going to lump Zex in there, too, since Woo! he's not hes not here. And when we come back from the montages, we have a very special package that we're going to talk about uh, coming up. So uh, we'll watch those montages. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Don Felder. Hello, America. I'm Don Felder. What's on, it, Eds? It's Zach, your boy. Welcome to the first episode of One Dollar. Hello, everyone. Welcome to One Dollar Holla. Okay. Okay. Turn, turn me. This, it up. I'm gonna give this a ten out of ten because I think it represents what it's like to look through the eyes of a minion. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh.
cook loud. <laughs> Everybody gets plate. Your plate for the rat. Yeah. What's the rat's name? Is he just a rat? Uh, filthy rat. I love me Chase. Chase is such a kind heart. You know. You know what? I don't care about any other the other characters. Chase is beautiful. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box. Deliver it to my house and. Pickle lotion pickle, on a pickle lotion stool. on a hairy man's legs. <laughs> I have eaten spinach waffles. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever done. Alex, long story. We lost many men. We went into the sewer to try and recover them. Open sesame. Oh! oh! Did you hear that? <laughs> That's for baby one and baby two. two. They don't have names. I just call them my number. <laughs> let, me, let me see how the baby pickle tastes. <laughs> baby? You're gonna eat baby pickle? No! <laughs> baby pickle! For the past four years, I've been making videos in media class at Norman High. At the beginning, I was just learning the basics and messing around with effects. As time went on, my appreciation for media grew, and I was convinced by Mr. Davis to delve deeper into media production. I started by learning to make audio visualizers, and then moved on to making intros and outros for YouTube. I slowly got better and better the more videos I made, and finally thought I was good enough at editing, and started to focus more on the recording side of things. I bought a camera and worked on a few skits and shows, including One Dollar Hollow, Dishes with Derek, Shipwrecked, and The Great Pickle Hunt. Every day I spent in this class was great. Sure, I might have had some rough days, but overall, this class is what got me through high school, and I couldn't have done it without the great people in it. Thanks for making my high school career great, Mr. Davis. I'll miss this class. Hey, Travis Williams, Four Music Patroller, 2245. I love the boys of New Mexico, we hit up a mountain camp 2017. I see hell. I hit my hand. What kind of toy talk for Tiger then? Yeah. Uh, my name's Philip and I'm in the fifth grade. Welcome back. A um, lot, of, lot of fun stuff in there. A lot of Travis stuff in there. Um, Can you have Tiger in right here? Speaking, speaking of Travis stuff, uh, and Alex stuff and Jonathan stuff because if you don't know Jonathan uh, really uh, really is the glue that holds one dollar holler together because without his editing um, it would be chaotic and he does the camera work there's it, a microphone yeah. here yeah. Jonathan's done 99% of the editing for the show and all of the camera work and so yes, Mr. Davis is correct. I I was so excited at the beginning of this year because I knew that with you guys on One Dollar Holla, we were going to be taking this to the next level, <laughs> and I think it it was right here, and it just it it got bumped up a level, and I think it was a lot. We we broke the we broke the ceiling because. <laughs> I just second I, story and floor. Jonathan is a key point in this because without mm. Jonathan Travis and I have a, a Travis and I have established an empire but without that it would crumble empire. Jonathan is the foundation yeah. without Jonathan everything would spiral into chaos so uh, so I think the the point to uh, to yeah. emphasize here is to future you know employers and everything is to say uh, you know, if you want to know what you get with Jonathan, you got to watch One Dollar Hollow. 
Uh, that is fully representative of who Jonathan is. <laughs> Jonathan is fully responsible for everything <laughs> that is one dollar holler. So, uh, <laughs> so I'll send, I'll send plenty of copies of One Dollar Holler with you okay. to that interview. So, and Braden had some, yeah. All right, real talk about John real quick. I have, like, known this guy since freshman year, and he has always been the guy to, like, spur on creativity and, like, make stuff happen. And so he is the, he is the real behind-the-scenes stuff that tagged in. Like, yeah. what you see is mainly yeah. spurred by him. And, and also so cool. to note about Jonathan is he hates being out here hosting. Oh, he hates being on. He hates being on hates camera. It. Absolutely so hates it. The longer we drag this on, the more it just internalizes and just is, puts him in pain. Um, so we won't keep him too long. So let's uh, tell me about this last episode of One Dollar Holler. What, what should the viewer expect? This is the grand finale since none of us are going to be in this class next year because Travis is moving on doing some great things me and Jonathan are moving on doing some great things and really it's um a little bit of closure but not quite so it's it's going to elaborate on me and Travis's feud it's going to give explanations to long asked questions and it's just it about sums up what we're going for so yeah, um, you asked what what could be expected from this one dollar haul on stuff. Uh, everything. Um, there's everything in this next episode of one dollar haul. Uh, every character we've ever had uh, has you know their their character arc finish up in some way that builds the story, moves stuff forward, and it, it's it's one last hurrah to tiger it in. We've spent the last two or three weeks just working on it, you know, scripting filming, editing, everything. Um, and it, it just, it's a good send off to the, the last year of shenanigans. I don't okay. Know what. I think that, uh, yeah, I, yeah, we can, have anything, anything to add there, Jonathan? I think we need to focus on thanking Mr. Davis. Oh, wow. Mm, yes. Thank you, Mr. Davis. You've you put up with us for this long. We appreciate it. Well. Um, I'm, I'm happy to facilitate your creativity. So, uh, so let's, let's go watch this and uh, we'll come right back for a final farewell. I'm not sure I ever want to see that sick psychopath ever again. See you later. Bye. Five hundred dollars? And a jar of kosher dills? Got to find Travi boy. You good? You recording? Let's go. Hello there, good sir. Hello. I'm sure you've heard about Travis by now. I guess I have. He called me on a payphone the other day. Did he tell you where he was heading? The only thing he told me is that he's going to the old VRC and that I shouldn't tell anyone where he's going, but given the circumstances, I think this is a, a good excuse for a broken promise. I completely agree. Thank you for this information. Thank you. Travis? Travis? 
Who am I kidding? Of course he's not here. Shouldn't have even looked for him in the first place. No. He's out there somewhere. Right, and I need to bring him to justice. I need to talk to Katie. Sure, the news has reached you by now. A little spicy. Some spicy news. I've. I checked the old VRC and Travis isn't there. I don't know where else to look. I was hoping you could point me in the right direction. See, I got friends, connections, and a, a duck. A duck? A duck. I, I can try to listen, try to find him. Oh. I can hear him. Do you know where he is? I, all I can all I can find is Zachariah. Zachariah? No, 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 no. That's that's impossible. He's he's dead. Travis killed him. That was that was a long time ago. Well. Dead's not always dead, Alex. So what you're saying is that Zechariah has come back for Travis. Dead's not dead. Well, I hope he gets what he deserves. You need to bring out the good in Travis. You need to have hope. I don't know. But I guess it's worth a shot. Thank you. Travis. Zack! I am coming to destroy you. I killed you! Your show will be no more. How? We shall meet in the old building where you defeated me before. Go back to hell! No! One thing that'll save us from Zack. There goes. Good. I now seal this flash drive away with ancient magics. Oh. There goes. Pedicabo Magistratus. Pedicabo Magistratus. Pedicabo Magistratus. You're safe. One dollar holler will survive. I have a bad feeling about this. Travis, I, You're not safe here. You I, go. Came, I came to find you. What are you doing? What do you want? I want to help you. What? I, I just don't know if I can trust you anymore. You need to trust me. You just need to leave. What, what's going on? He's coming back. Who? Zach. So Kate's prophecy was correct? He's not dead. What, what does he want? All he needs is a fish spinner and a pickle. If he squeezes the pickle juice on the fish spinner and spins it, he will raise more dollar all of it forever. All of it? All of it. He'll be right wife of the humanity's existence. So what do we do? You need to leave. I'll sit here and fight him. Travis, I can't leave you alone. You can't fight this battle by yourself. I may not be able to, but I have to try. What are you doing here, Zach? I have 
return to destroy you and your pitiful show one dollar. You know you can't do that. You will be bow before me, peasant, and my unspeakable power. Why, like hell I will. Ah! I don't remember who exactly was buried here, but I can tell that they were someone very important. I don't know. Something's missing. How are we forgetting so much about her? I have no idea. All I can remember is that she was like a friend to me. Pickle? Sure. To her. To her. What? Hmm? Thank you guys. Thank you. It's been another great year of Tiger Den. Uh, they, they may even let us do it next year. <laughs> um, so, uh, so just kind of wrapping things up. Uh, these three are seniors along with Edwin, Zek. Uh, Jeannie was a senior. Um, yeah, so those guys, I appreciate you and I look forward to the things that you go on to do. Uh, these three here, these three have been in my class the longest out of any of the other people, so I appreciate what you guys have done for the class and, and being the rock that we could depend on for, for all this time. So, uh, so Tiger Den, another year, another, another group of kids, and we'll see what we get next year, you know? It's been an honor, Mr. Davis. It has been an honor. Definitely going to miss this hour. Goodbye everybody. <laughs>